All right, guys, welcome to part six of module three, where we start to create the grill of our 3D concept car. All right, so let's start off by throwing down a plane onto our grid. We'll rotate it 90 degrees, and we'll just kind of bring it close here to where our, um, our bottom um, uh, grill area is going to be. We'll convert this to an edible poly, and we'll come over and... Um, We'll add a bend modifier as well. So we have uh, some, a little bit of segments here added, and then we can just go the direction of 90 degrees, and we'll just bring the angle and adjust it like so. We'll rotate this plane into the area that we want our grill to, uh, to be placed. And we can just try to drag this back a little bit here. Okay, just so we get an area here where it's quite flush with everything. Add some more bend here. All right, we're looking pretty good. All right, so we go to edge mode here and we can see that we um, we have some segments to work with. We can change them out to 30-30. Okay, and then what we're gonna do here is we're going to select all of our vertices and we'll hit chamfer. We'll grab this and we'll just bring this all the way up until they pretty much intersect just like so. All right, so we got these little diamond shapes. This is perfect. So this is exactly the uh, style we want of the grill. We're going to grab all the edges like so and we can now come down and go into create a uh, shape. All right, so what that's going to do, I'll just take a second here. So what that's gonna do, is gonna give us a nice shape to work with our spline. Um, so if I can, I can further back to edible poly, let's do this again. Something was just acting up there. Create shape, we wanna make sure it's a linear. Okay, and now we have the, the uh, spline working here. So everything just needs to be adjusted. So we can come down to our thickness of our spline and bring this down. Okay, now you can start to see we have something a little bit more proper. Uh, we can bring it down a little bit more and so to a thickness something like this. All right, you can see they intersect quite nice. And it's, you know, this is a slight, this is you know, a, a pretty quick way of doing a grill, okay, but um, it works quite nice for uh, Pretty much close-ups to uh, medium-close uh, shots. So this is going to work quite nice for uh, for the design. So I'm going to try to this time weld the vertices. Okay, so I just undid everything I did there, and now I'm just going to weld the vertices, and I come back up. Let's try this again. I was having some little bit of an error with the uh, the mesh itself. So if I come over to our edges, create a spline again. Okay, um, you can see now everything is looking good. So you just got to make sure when you uh, do do your chamfer to your vertices and you connect them all, you just want to weld them so that everything is connected properly. All right, so we have something like this, and that's looking quite nice. So now what we're going to do is just do some trimming, uh, some kind of you know, rough trimming that uh, we can start to tuck the grill in and we won't see uh, the rest of it. All right, so I'm going to do a quick slice and now I can select, you see where our edge is, right? We'll just grab these guys here, delete them out until we get to the line that we just created with our quick slice. All right, so I'm going to use the uh, marquee selection tool here and just kind of go in as close as I can. And we can just kind of clean these guys up a little bit more here. Okay, we're going to do a quick slice at the bottom here as well. So we'll click, just drag out. Okay, and then just grab these vertices here, delete them all. Just make sure we're not going past 
where our um, bumper um, or the edges to where our um, our vents are. Okay, so we're just going to make sure we grab all these guys as well. So I'm going to come around here and just delete some of these guys out and make sure nothing's coming through. Okay, so this is quite uh, this is a quick way of. Uh, creating a grill, um, but uh, you know, it does the job. So this is uh, okay, not too bad. So what we're going to do now with this is we'll bring it to the other side. So I'm just going to name it and then just come over here to our, let's see if we're going to use our mirror tool. I'm just going to save. Okay, so we'll make sure we're on the world space, okay, and then we're just going to move over, hit copy on the Y, and it should go into place. So there we go. So now we've just mirrored that over. Uh, we're going to attach them as one piece for now, and um, that should do pretty good. All right, so we can give this a, uh, a texture. I already kind of made some, um, some plastics up, all right, uh, and that should work quite nice. All right, we might have to do some adjustments a little later on, but uh, for now we have our look and uh, that's looking quite nice. All right, so pretty much now we're going to have to come to the front part of the grill here, uh, our front area, and try to work with this as well. So we can create maybe some more uh, of these uh, edges here, of these these lines, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I can grab one of these guys, I'll bring it up, and then what we can do is uh, try to just adjust this a bit so that we can start creating a look, just a little bit more horizontal lines with inside the grill. So if we grab these guys and move them, we can uh, set something up quite nice here. So let's just drag it out. Okay, we'll just move them in. Do a little bit of scaling. I'm just kind of trying to just um, rotate and just bring it in the back side here, making them intersect a bit. We'll hold shift and drag out, make a copy. Okay, and we'll come all the way down as well. And this will just give us some extra detail um, as we look inside the grill, and that should help quite tremendously uh, with the um, with giving us a little bit of flavor there in the front. All right, I've made a little bit too many copies here. I'm just gonna get some out and just kind of readjust here a little bit. Okay, we'll delete those guys out and we'll bring, should we bring him back? Let's bring this guy in a bit. Okay, let's bring him in. Let's piece them out. Yeah, and just make something a little bit more interesting here. Okay, so everything's looking very good. And what we'll just have to do now is just grab these guys and just mirror them over like we did with the um, with the with the grill or the mesh, not the grill, but uh, more or less the mesh of the uh, okay, that should do pretty good. All right, so let's attach all these guys. We 
I'll put, give them a smoothing group, all right? Because they're low, quite low detailed. We're not going to really see them. We're just kind of see them inside the back of the uh, of our main grill here. Okay, and we just mirrored them over, and that's it. All right, guys. So that's pretty much concludes this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next part where we start to um, we're going to start working on uh, adding uh, the windows, and we're going to start uh, getting a little further down the road. All right, guys. See you in the next part.